was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink Hello you guys and welcome to my channel If you guys are new, my name is Wendy And I am here to talk to you about Las Vegas. This video is not sponsored. I am just obsessed with Vegas and I've been there more times than I can count and I've been there a few times with my kiddos. So if you guys have ever wondered if Vegas would be a good place for kids then watch this video and I will give you my opinion. Now if you've never been to Vegas and you are thinking um I'm pretty sure that's not a place for kids. Trust me, I get it. I always said, I've been there so many times and I always said, I am not gonna be one of those people that brings their kids to Vegas. And guess what? I am. I think Vegas is so much fun and I think it's even more fun with the kiddos. Oh, and by the way, this video is not sponsored by any anyone that I'm gonna be talking about. I just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions with you guys because before we went with kids, I was searching all over YouTube trying to find advice, trying to find out like if it was a good idea. And let me just tell you, the first time we went, we took our my two daughters, I think they were six and seven at the time, sounds about right and we had a blast so I'm just gonna kind of go through and tell you stuff that we did pretty much everything on my list are things that we did uh, or thought about doing but didn't get a chance to do so now this most recent time we just went the day after Christmas and we took our five-month-old I was so nervous but you guys it actually turned out great so I'm just gonna kind of go through and tell you guys what we did with the baby uh, how we did stuff and yeah, it was a fun trip. So, all right, let's get into this. So the first thing I want to talk about is hotels. Now, I will say I am a part of the MGM Rewards, whatever they're called now, the Players Club, whatever. So when you do gamble at an MGM Resort, uh, you do want to use your Players Card because you can accumulate points. Uh, now, if you don't gamble, you can use your card towards food. Uh, like anytime you buy food or just hotel rooms, anything, you can use your card and you accumulate points. But I do like to gamble a little bit. So whenever I'm in an MGM reward or an MGM property, I use my M Life card or I don't even know if they're called M Life anymore, but I use my card and that racks up points. So basically every trip, like every time we've gone to Vegas in the last few years, it's been comped because of my uh, play on the slots. So do make sure you do that. So that is one of the main reasons we like to go is because we get our rooms comped and so you just have to pay the resort fees and that saves a lot of money. So our favorite place to stay is the Delano. So this is the second tower to Mandalay Bay and all the rooms are suites. They are huge. They're over 700 square feet. You get a separate powder room. You get a full master bathroom. You get a living area, a little like wet bar area, and then your bedrooms or bedroom. So we usually get the two queen room. You can get a one king. Uh, it'd probably be more spacious if you wanted to put like an air mattress or a crib or something in there. But I'm going to talk about what we did with the baby. So these rooms are by far my favorite. I love that hotel. It's smoke free. It is just a little bit tucked back from the Mandalay Bay. Uh, it's right off the parking garage, which is great. So you can grab all your stuff from the parking garage, go right in and there's that's your hotel. A short, short walk to Mandalay Bay like if you go to the casino or whatever. Uh, the pool is kind of a farther walk, but it's not that bad. Uh, I just like that it's kind of tucked away. Uh, there's no casino at the Delano, but like I said, Mandalay Bay is like a two minute walk. And then it connects you to all the other hotels that we went to along the way. The first time we went, we stayed at Delano and we just, you know, it was just the two kids and then my husband and I, so we were fine with beds. But this time we had the baby. So what we ended up doing, we brought a little, it's like a small little pack and play, but it's like a smaller version of one. Uh, and we actually put her room, her room in the master bathroom. This bathroom is huge. And this actually worked out perfect because it was completely dark in there. She was able to have her own space. Now, since we had that other half bathroom, 
we just used that one. Of course, when you needed to shower, we would use the big one, but it worked out so nice. So we put her crib just in the center. I put a couple blankets underneath it, uh, and she slept great in there. It was nice and quiet. It was dark. So that worked out perfect for us. And then the cool thing about Mandalay or about Delano is you can use the Mandalay Bay pool. So the first time we went, it was summertime. So we did actually enjoy their awesome pool. They've got a lazy river. Uh, I would say it's probably the best pool on the strip for kids, in my opinion. Uh, but this time when we went, it was Christmas. It was winter so we didn't enjoy a pool or anything but i still highly recommend the delano and then since we're still talking about mandalay bay another thing you can do at mandalay bay is the shark reef aquarium or shark reef experience whatever it's called we did that the first year and it was so fun it was just fun for the kids you just walk through and it's if you've ever been to like a sea life or anything like that it's like that uh but it's beautiful it's vegas so it's always you know over the top and it's just it was that was a lot of fun the prices for the shark reef are usually 31 to 36 dollars per person depending on ages probably plan to spend like a few hours there depending on how long it takes you to get through it now before i get into some other things that we do in Vegas with the kids. I'm going to talk about another hotel. I'm going to talk about the Vidara. So this is also an MGM property and this is connected to the Aria. Vidara is an all suite hotel as well. So connected to the Aria. There's no casino there. It's smoke free. And we're actually going back. I think we're going to go in the summer and we're going to get one of the Vidara suites. So with my comps, I was able to get this executive corner suite or something like that. You guys, it has a washer dryer, a kitchen, a hat, like the powder bathroom as well. So we are booking that for the summer and I'm so excited. And I think we're gonna try to do the same thing and put the baby's room in the big bathroom again. But this suite looks incredible. And I was so excited about the kitchen and the washer dryer. We could have used the washer and dryer the last time we were there. But yeah, if you guys have ever stayed at the Vidara, let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm really excited to try it out. I hope that it's as cool as it looks on their website. So fingers crossed. Okay, now going back, I'm just going to kind of start out at Mandalay Bay because that's usually where we stay and then work our way down the strip talking about what we have done. Now, once you leave Mandalay Bay, that's going to take you right over to the Luxor. And now they do have a tram. This is completely free. You can get on it from Mandalay Bay. You could take it to Luxor and then you could take it all the way to Excalibur. So we did take advantage of that a lot just because it's a lot of walking in between, you know, for us, it's not bad, but for the kiddos, it can be a lot. So we ended up getting on that tram and taking that quite a few times. But if you head on over to Luxor, they've got the Titanic exhibit. We didn't get to do it this last trip. I really, really wanted to, but we just we didn't have time. I don't know what we were doing, but we just didn't have a chance to do it. But it just has a huge Titanic exhibit. I was obsessed with that stuff when I was little. So I definitely want to check it out where I, I say this every time, but I think we're going to try to do it when we go in the summertime. And those tickets start at around $32 and it looks really, really cool. And right now my daughter is kind of learning about the Titanic in school. So I think she would really enjoy it too. All right. So if you take that tram from Mandalay Bay, you can stop at Luxor if you want, or you can just head right on over to Excalibur. And there's kind of a lot to do at Excalibur for the kiddos. And one thing I will say, it can get kind of smoky in that casino area. So you might want to limit your walking through that area a little bit, but they have a ton to do for kids. So they have a huge food court. Uh, if you have any picky eaters, you can head on over there. It's fairly reasonable. It's a little more expensive food court because it's Vegas, but they have an arcade downstairs, the fun dungeon. And my kiddos love to play all those games. I will say the prizes suck. I mean, it's like stuff you could buy at the dollar store, but it's the experience. The kids have fun playing the games and there's like some carnival games that they can play. So it is fun. And my kiddos, for some reason this time, were enjoying the little, little, like smaller kid area and they were enjoying riding all the stuff. I don't know. My kids are seven and eight now. So I thought maybe the eight year old would be over it, but she was having fun with that stuff too. Now, one of the things they ended up doing with my husband, I stayed with the baby. We just kind of walked around and she ended up taking a little nap, but they did the 4D movies. Now they did four of them. You can buy, uh, I want to say it's $20 for like an all day pass. And you can literally go in and out of these movies as you please all day long. They give you a wristband and yeah. So they ended up doing all four movies cause they just kind of play one right after the other. And they did the main reason they wanted to go was for the Polar Express. Uh, so, and I think they're like 12, 15 minutes each. So they did that one. And then there were these other three as well. 
What is my camera focusing on? Why is it up here? I'm so sorry. I had to restart my camera because for some reason the the box that's usually over my face was like over here. Not really sure what I was looking at. And I don't know if I was blurry that whole time. So if I was, I apologize. All right, next, once you leave Excalibur, there's a little walkway over to New York, New York. And one other thing my kids loved doing are the moving walkways. They have these moving walkways everywhere, although they weren't always running, which I don't understand. So you just kind of stand on them and they move you and you can move a little bit quicker and just kind of gives you your feet a break from walking. But my kids really enjoyed playing on those, walking on those. Anywho. So once you get over to New York, New York, there is another arcade upstairs. You can go up to the arcade and they've got the roller coaster. My daughter wanted to do that so bad, but we just didn't get a chance to do it. It is a little pricey. It's $19 per person for the roller coaster. And then if you go downstairs, like right off of the casino, there's like the streets of New York and there's all these restaurants and it's so cute. Like there's like a cobblestone street and it just makes you feel like you're like in a city and everything's like a little miniature, like smaller version of it. Uh, but my kids were having so much fun going around to all the little apartments and they were like ringing the doorbells. There weren't really doorbells, but they were pretending and they just had a blast in there. So it's just fun to look around and like it makes you feel like you're in a little city so that was really cool and they enjoyed just playing in there all right then after you leave New York New York you can wander out there's a little side door off of the, like all the where all the restaurants are and it takes you straight over to Park MGM there's just like a little street you need to cross so you can head right over to Park MGM Park MGM is awesome we did stay there one time my husband and I and it is a, the only smoke-free casino on the strip and I think it's wonderful uh, it's it's small it's on the smaller side um, but I just enjoyed that there was no smoking and they have a cute little like it's called Italy it's like little Italian style um, restaurants right in the front of the ca hotel casino whatever and so you could go over there and then what we do is we just kind of wander through the casino and if you go straight to the back towards like where the conference areas are there's a hallway that takes you over to the aria and you can catch the tram over at the Aria. So we did that a couple times too. So once you get past the Park MGM, you hop on that tram to Aria, you can either take that to the Crystals, which are the, sh the shopping area, or you can actually take that all the way over to Bellagio. So that is what we ended up doing. So we took the tram over to Bellagio and then we went into the conservatory. Now if you've never seen the Bellagio conservatory, it is beautiful. It depends on what season you go in. It'll be decorated for whatever the season is. So I've been there pretty much for everything. I've seen fall, I've seen Christmas, I've seen summer, I've pretty much seen it all. Uh, this last time when we were there, it was so cute. It was like a gingerbread theme and the whole room smelled kind of like gingerbread. Oh, it was so pretty. So, and there's just fresh flowers everywhere. There's so much to see for the kids. Uh, this one was particularly cool because it had these little miniature like gingerbread houses. And oh, it was just really, really cute. It's really, really magical. So you always, any season that you're there, you need to go check that out because it'll be a surprise, whatever it is that, that there season. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. Good. You look great, I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase If you want to, after that, you can head over It's not too bad of a walk No, it's actually right next door You could go over to Caesars Palace And they have like the forum shops There's a shopping area, you can walk around there And they do have these little like Light show kind of In the middle of the shopping area And you can watch those, those are completely free Alright, the next thing that we did We went and checked out Resorts World That is the newest casino right now in On the Strip It is so pretty Now there's so much to see There's a ton of restaurants in there You can go find something to eat Tons to look at with the kids What my husband and I did when we went We just kind of took turns gambling So like he would take the kids He actually took them and had lunch And I played for a little bit And then I grabbed the kids he went and played and we ended up exploring now there's like three or four floors i want to say on that where you can just kind of walk around they've got convention centers or convention rooms and there is like a little shopping area with this huge sphere like 
I don't even know what it was, but it was really cool. So we just kind of wandered around and we went up to the top floor and we ended up coming to like some rooftop bar area. It wasn't open or anything, but we were able to walk out there and just like see the views and it was beautiful. So we just had a fun time exploring and that's free. Like the kids love doing that. They love exploring everything. And so that was a really cool place to see. And then that was actually, we stopped there on our way to the Strat. I have been to Vegas, I don't know, like I can't even count how many times, 50 maybe? I don't even know. I had never been to the Stratosphere. So apparently they renamed it, it is now the Strat. Like I don't know if they're trying to be super cool. But anyways, you can go in there and go all the way up to the top and look at the whole entire city. It is so high up. I was actually kind of nervous to get on the elevator because it was 108 stories. It honestly wasn't bad. It goes so fast, you don't even really like know what's happening and then the next thing you know you're up there. So it's really cool. It's around $20 a person to just go up there. You can go up and explore. There's an inside area uh, with like a little, just like a little convenience store and I think there's bars. I think when we went up there nothing was really open because it was during the day. Uh, but you can go up there and look around and then you can take um, stairs to the next level and then you can go outside and actually look around. And it's so cool. There's even a roller coaster up there. There's different thrill rides up there. Uh, I would never go on them. I'm too scared. But it's so cool. Like You get a view of the city, the mountains. You can see it all from up there. So that was really cool. My kids enjoyed doing that. We didn't do that with the baby because I wasn't sure how her ears would react to that. So. We didn't do it this last time, but that was really cool. So there was one other thing. We didn't end up doing this. Um, at Cosmo, during the winter time, they cover up the pool upstairs. On, I think it's on like the fourth level or something like that. They cover the pool and turn it into an ice skating rink. So the kids really wanted to do that. But for some reason, we, when we went up there, it wasn't quite open yet. I want to say it's like $30 for like the ice skate rental or whatever. So... And I think that's like an all day pass too, but that looked really, really cool. So definitely if you're there in the winter time, you should go check that out. If it's in the summertime, obviously that's gonna be their pool. So you'll have to wait till winter time to check that one out. All right, so this is gonna be the last thing I'm gonna talk about that's on the strip. I have a few items I'm gonna talk about off the strip if you guys feel like driving a little ways. We're gonna talk about the Adventure Dome at Circus Circus. This place has been around since I was a kid. Like we, I have stayed at Circus Circus before. My kids love going to the Adventure Dome. So they've got like little kitty rides and then they've got a couple bigger like roller coaster rides. My husband, he had to go on those by himself because the kids weren't big enough to go on it, but he had a blast too. But this place is always fun. You can get a wristband. They are 30 to $60, I think, depending on your age. I think the junior one is $30. And, and I think you can come and go all you want, like for that day, and you can ride all the rides. And that was a lot of fun. It was pretty crowded when we went. That was in the summer. It's always a fun option to do. And they do have an arcade there as well. And they also have free circus acts that you guys can go check out too. Okay, so we're gonna talk about four other items that are off strip if you guys feel like wandering a little bit. Now, this first one isn't too far. I wanna say it's kind of like on the same level where the wind is. Uh, it's just off strip back a couple streets. And this is a Meow Wolf. This, if you guys know what I'm talking about, it is so cool. I don't wanna give away too many spoilers. I don't wanna to talk too much about it because if you guys go, you need to like be surprised and enjoy the experience. We had never been to anything like this. So the friends that we were with had been to one in New Mexico and she's like, we have to go. And I was like, okay, it was $50 a person. And I looked at her and I'm like, this better be good, $50 a person. Like that's for kids too. So I had no idea what it was. So basically you walk in and this one here is called the Omega Mart. You walk in and you're in a grocery store. And I was like, I looked at my friend, I go, girl, I just paid $50 a person to be in a grocery store. Like what, what is this? So the next thing I know, my kids found this little tent in the corner of the grocery store and they crawled in it and they were gone. They were gone. They just disappeared. I'm looking in there and I'm like, I look at my husband. I go, do we have to go in there? And so, yep, we followed him in there and I'm not even going to tell you guys what we found. If you guys want to do your own research on it, you can find stuff about it, but if you guys, you need to just go and experience it and be surprised. It is the coolest experience ever. It's, it's like an immersive art show-ish. Yeah, we'll go with that. But it is such a cool experience. I highly recommend checking that out if, oh, yeah. It's well worth the money. We spent hours there. 
and we were just wandering around. If you wanted to actually get into the storyline of it, you could spend like seven hours there. So it is well worth the $50 per person, and I highly recommend checking that out. Okay, another thing we did check out this last time we were there is called Container Park. I don't know where I found this. I found it, I think, just online looking for stuff. It's downtown, it's just this little park. It's like they're, the whole park is made out of like containers thus the name but there's a huge praying mantis when you first come up and it's really cool it's artsy it's kind of like an artsy district and the play area is really cool these tall climbing structures for the kids they've got slides the slides were actually closed when we went because of the wind it was super windy that day but yeah the girls were kind of bummed that the slides were closed but it was really really cool so I highly recommend checking that out if your kids are getting bored and just want to get out and burn off some energy take them to the park it's a really neat area Okay, and then this other thing, my aunt actually told us about this. I don't even know how she found out. This is at the Silverton Casino. It's a little bit off the street. It's, it's maybe like a 10, 12 minute drive from our hotel when we stayed at Delano. Um, and I want to say it's at, so it's the Silverton Casino, but I want to say it's at Bass Pro Shop. They have mermaids, you guys. So they have a huge aquarium with fish in it, and they have mermaids that come down and do little shows for you throughout the day. Uh, you'll have to check on the website. I'm not sure the exact hours that they do them. I think it's like a window. They come out for like 20 minutes or come out for like five minutes every 20 minutes or something like that. But my kids enjoyed this so much. They were so surprised. I don't think we told them. We kind of just surprised them. And they were just amazed so I highly recommend that and that's free as well all right this last thing I want to talk about this is just kind of like kind of like a memory for me um, my aunt every time we would go we would stay at Samstown now if you've never been to Samstown my family they're bowlers so Samstown has a bowling alley and that's why they would go it is so pretty there you can go check out the bowling alley they do have a small arcade but in the center of like <clears throat> the room, so all the rooms go around like an atrium area, and it's so cool. They've got like these fake animals, and they've got a waterfall, and they sometimes do light shows. It's really pretty at Christmas time. There's like a bar set down in the middle, and it's just beautiful to look at. Uh, so we like to go there, like usually on our way out of Vegas, we'll stop there and just walk around and show the kids, and they enjoy that. There's a food court there as well if you guys want to grab something to eat, but that is always something we like to go check out too. All right, you guys, that does it for my list. I could literally go on and on and on about this. But these are just my experiences that I found with the three times we've been there with our kiddos. I mean, if you're thinking about going with your kids, just do it. It's fun. I will say this last time we went, I could not believe how many strollers were there. Like there were so many kids there. And I kind of feel bad for people that go there that don't really want to be around kids because Vegas has kind of become somewhere where people take their kids. So if you're on the fence about it, I would definitely give it a shot. Um, we always have a blast. My kids love it. And it's just nice, like, we get the comped room, so that's kind of why we keep going back. And I always ask them, I'm like, you guys want to go? And they're like, yeah. So if they ever decide they don't want to go, obviously, we'll stop going. But right now, they love going, and it's just fun for the whole family. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'd love it if you would stick around and subscribe. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you on my next video. Bye. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you noticed you.